Jones and M's at OE420.com. Time now for the gossip. You like that gossip? It's the celebrity buzz with a freaking Rika on Power 1017. All right, Jess, what you got in Celebrity Buzz? All right, here we go. Beyonce's album, Cowboy Carter, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart, making the biggest debut of 2024 so far. It sold 407,000 units and earned the biggest streaming week ever for Beyonce. It also marks her biggest sales week since Lemonade in 2016, and she's the first black woman to debut a number one on the Top Country Albums chart. Beyonce and Janet Jackson are now tied for the fourth most toppers among women behind Madonna with nine, Barbara Streisand with 11, and Taylor Swift with 12. Beyonce elsewhere, doing it. Yeah. Elsewhere on the Billboard 200, Future and Metro Boomin's We Don't Trust You falls to number two. Morgan Wallen's One Thing at a Time takes that third spot. Now, Gorilla X Kong, the new empire remained. Godzilla. Where is that? Oh, Godzilla. <laughs> Sorry. It remains. Um, the new empire remained at the top of the domestic box office for a second week earning another $31.7 million. I didn't even know that was out. Dave Patel's directional debut, Monkey Man, debuted taking that number two spot, $10.1 million. And then Ghostbusters, this is what we want to go see, Frozen Empire, it added $9 million, and that one is in third place. And then Pat Sajak has taped his final episode of Wheel of Fortune wow. after 41 seasons. Times are host. changing, aren't they? Yes. Wow, the iconic game show. The episode is set to air on June the 7th. Pat Sajak will not appear entirely as he will serve as a consultant on the show for three years while it transitions to the new host, Ryan Seacrest. What? Yeah. Is there anything Ryan doesn't do? No. But look, I have nothing but I know some people like hate on Ryan Seacrest. Oh, no, I like him a lot. I got nothing but respect for Ryan Seacrest. He hustles. Pat Sajak announced last June that the current season would be his last, and Ryan Seacrest was later announced as his replacement. Vanna White, a longtime staple on the show, has closed a new deal to continue as the co-host through the 2025-2026 season, and this marks the end of Pat Sajak's legendary adventure that he has done here. Uh, the show has become a beloved household fixture, and it's earned him multiple Daytime Emmy nominations. Wow, yeah. Pat Sajak. Wow. Mm, that means I'm getting old, too. <laughs> you are getting old. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. And then Oliver Stark, one of the stars of 911, has responded to homophobic backlash over a recent episode featuring a kiss between his character, Buck, and another male character. In an Instagram uh, stories post, Stark first expressed gratitude for the positive reaction. If you were one of the smaller groups of people commenting on my post about how this has ruined the show, I would like you to know that I truly don't care. He stated that the show was about love and inclusion and that exploring Buck's bisexuality is in the line and its themes. If other character finding a new, um, it's if one other character finding a new facet of his sexuality and realizing his bisexuality is your deal breaker. I fear that you've missed the entire point of the show, he says. The 911 episode marks a significant moment for Buck's character and the exploration of his sexuality. The show airs on ABC on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Yeah, 911, it's a good show. Wow. It's a good series. Uh, 6.50, it's a Bill and Jessica show. We got some sports up next right after Money Long. Good morning.